She was white over this morning, boys. White over. Her windscreen was white this morning. <laughs> oh, we're doing work in a workshop today. Yeah, our old boy, he can't come with me today. I'm in a workshop today, so health and safety and all that, you know what I mean? But yeah, I've had loads of comments off you all about our lad work. It brings back memories to people, doesn't it? You know, when you was a kid, you used to help your dad. I was exactly the same when I was a kid. I used to, Arrow Man ran the wagons, and uh, our mum says I used to sit near the bay window, I used to have a bay window that looked out to the yard and the workshop, well, workshop barn like. And obviously, when he used to come in at night, when it was dark, I used to be sat at the bay window waiting for him to come in. When I see his headlights in, our mum used to say, No, Chris, you're not like, yeah, wait till he parks up, because she didn't want me running out and getting ran over by him. So as soon as he was parked, all that six says, yeah, go on, you're right to go now. And he used to run over to him, obviously. Go and sit in his passenger seat of his wagon while he's there filling out his taco and all that. But your, fuck, your fucking dad, your dad's a, uh, well, my dad, anyway. My dad was a fucking superhero to me. He still is now, he's still alive now, he's 73. still working, still driving at 73. Not many people are still driving at 73, but he doesn't have to, like, he doesn't do it for money. He does it because he's done it, well, he's done it ever since he was fucking, since he could drive. That's all he's done for a living, is drive for himself. But, uh, but yeah, it brings back some memories to people, doesn't it? But our Arch is exactly the same as me, you see, as a kid. That's all he wants to do. He wants to come, he, he wants to come and help me all the time. He's, hey, Dad, are you working today? I say, yeah, Dad, but you can't go where I'm going today. Uh-oh. That's what I was like as a kid and all. I remember sitting in our old man's own barn while he was doing, he used to do an inspection. He used to do all his own repairs and that. Like, not, not major repairs, just all his own inspections and thing. Any major repairs. He had, he had an, another lad down the road that would do it for him. Like any clutches are thrown like that, but it was handy. He gets by like obviously, it's self-employed, gets by, if he gets a breakdown road, he'll do it himself, he's all his own repairs, like little repairs himself. He uh what does he do him? Yeah, he used to go in the workshop when he was doing an inspection or out like that. He used to start at the back of the lorry, get it over the pit, start at the back of the lorry and work his way to the front. He used to have a checklist what he used to check it out. And it used to take him all day to do an inspection on his little on his little uh, DAF 2800 uh, and 2200. I think it was 2200 and all what he had when I was there when I when I used to help him at the workshop when I was an old boy like yeah and he used to go down the pit and that and go from from back to front checking all the diffs gearbox levels checking everything adjusting the brakes it used to take him all day. But it wasn't just working, obviously. People used to come in the yard and have a word with him. His mates used to come in the yard. Our mum used to bring out cups of tea and, and, and bring out a dinner to us. And we'd sit there in the workshop talking away and that. So it wasn't really a job for him. It was more of a, well, it was just a way of life, like, obviously. We was always in, we was having the house and all right next to the workshop. We was basically always in the workshop all the time. Always doing summers. Always doing something to do with lorries and work. I've got two older brothers, Ali, he's uh, three years older than me, he's got his own lorry and trailer, he's on the crane job, on tarmac job, and then uh, my, other, my eldest brother, he's six years older than me, he's, he was never into lorries or, or transport or like that, he never was, he he's just works at Curry's in the shop he does, but yeah, a bit of old history, it's good isn't it, I like a bit of history. I like to hear I like to hear our road man talking and all about his day when he was an old when when he was a young lad growing up. I tell you what these drivers think they have, they've, they've got it hard now, freaking and our road man. They used to have to handball full like twenty ton of plaster boards off and that. Handball them off. Handball them on and then when you get to your to your drop you knew you used to have to handball them all off because there was no forklifts in his day when he first started obviously. Piss all forklifts. Everything was handball on, handball off. And everything was sheeted down and all on flats. It was all sheeted and roped down. I still know the rope hitch now. I learned when I was a kid how to do a proper hitch like. So you do this hitch and then you can tie, you can get more pressure on your rope. I can still do it now, I can. Something that you'll always remember, innit? It's like doing your lace up, innit? You just always remember it. But yeah, it used to be a big thing they would, uh, they would rope and sheeting did back in the day, obviously, when there was rope and sheeting about. Our old man, I would remember, used to be like, when we were going down the road, oh, look here, look, lad. We've got one here, look, he hadn't done his sheeting very well, because his sheet had come off and it was flapping about and that. remember looking out for him, yeah, look, Dad, we've got enough one here, look. His sheet's flapping about, look. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, well spotted, lad, well spotted. I used to love going with our old man. 
I know it's a bit, but when you're a kid, obviously, I've, I've never really liked driving that much. I like more the mechanical side of it. But obviously, I used to sit with him and that. But I, did, you've got some good mate. You always used to have a Johnny Cash, uh, Johnny Cash uh, tape and all. And I always used to like uh, My Name Is Sue. So I used to put that in, listen to it, rewind it, play it again. I used to have like a selection of old, old uh, country, country tapes and that that I used to look through. Here's fucking Kush day. That's the memories you have you seen it of growing up. You know, growing up in a working a working environment, obviously, where I was lucky enough that I could go to work with our own man, obviously. But not many of them nowadays. You can't go to work with your, with your own man when you're an old boy, can you? Because obviously health and safety don't allow it or all or, or out like that nowadays. So it's a bit of a shame for the young ones really that that wanna go and like, like our own lad, they wanna come here, they wanna I want to help you out, but you just say, but you can't, lad, you can't come with me today. Where I'm going, obviously, it's a bit, it's a bit too dodgy where I'm going. Mm -hmm. oh, all right, and uh, poor old lad. But yeah, growing up, it's a big part of you. It's a big part of anyone's thing, growing up. Especially your dad and all, I don't know, my dad's fucking hell. People have superheroes. When I was growing up, my dad was my superhero. He still is now, our old man. Larger than life, ain't he, dad, when you're young? So yeah, we've got a very important role of being fathers, haven't we? Right, I'm gonna go and get fueled up.